guys, uh, this is Claudia from QuickBooks Experts. Um, I'm here to talk about a subject that I see it all the time. Just going to let you know a little bit about myself. I have over 20 years of experience as a bookkeeper and I'm a Pro Advisor Certified Agent. Uh, so all the time in my practice, I get to hear different kinds of issues that customer come up to me and say, hey, Claudia, how do I do this and that? And one of the issues that I hear all the time is how to record cash transactions. I have a customer in particular that um, who is a barber and he, ha he has a, a business where he collects both cash payments and credit card payments. On the cash payments, however, he was not recording any of the transactions and he was uh, spending the money paying employees and uh, business expense, but not recording any of that. So he came up to me desperate and asked me, how do I do that, Claudia? And that's exactly what we're going to cover today. All right. First of all, you want to make sure that uh, you have the right account where you can move money and that that account's name is petty cash so um we want to go to okay one way for us to to get there is click on the gear menu on the top right hand side click all list and then chart of accounts because this is just a trial account i don't have a, a few of the options but usually you're gonna see it on the left hand side um uh, menu under account uh, accounts and then you click there you can click on chart of accounts but this way you can do it as well so just click on chart of accounts we're going to create a new account okay and this is going to be bank cash at hand and instead of cash on hand here i am going to call it patty cash okay so uh so this is the different options so bank here and we're going to select you know if it was a bank account it was going to be checking or savings or whatever it is or a trust account for attorneys but like i said this case is just cash in hand i'm going to go ahead and save and close and voila, I have my petty cash account just here. Okay, so we, we're going to go ahead and click on uh, view register. And I want to record that today I received $500 uh, on this account. And I want to I want to enter this payment. So I can go ahead and click on the plus sign here. And we're going to do a sales receipt click on sales receipt just to record the reason you can't do an invoice uh, if you'd like to but the only difference between invoice and sales receipt is that sales receipt is when you're recording money that you already have at hand so you have the money don't have to um, uh, you don't have to do two two different steps as you would do an invoice so if you if you do it an invoice you would be entering the invoice the same way that i would be enter entering the sales receipt but then i have to go back and receive payment on that invoice so that i can avoid avoid leaving that invoice open and then maybe sometimes a lot of times what i see is just uh, recording that that uh sale sales twice so creating a larger tax liability I don't want that so um, we're gonna use sales receipt because I already have the money so let's say you know because it's uh, um, it's uh, usually it's more than one client you can um, you can add new and call it daily sales the daily cash sales and save okay and then the product and service you know we're gonna do sales and let's suppose i got a hundred dollars and now here on the deposit too remember <laughs> we created that patty cash and that's where we're putting the money on so if i just leave checking here it's going to go to my checking account but that that didn't happen yet i didn't deposit in checking that money is with me i have it in my hands or on my uh piggy bank whatever it is is not on checking so we're gonna go ahead and click on cash oh by the way i said five hundred dollars so let's go ahead and change that five hundred dollars we're gonna go ahead and save and uh, uh save and send no save and close okay so see that i recorded that i received five hundred dollars in cash and i have that um as a sale i also recorded 
this is a sale. I, I had some sales. I recorded those sales as cash. Now, um, at the end of the day, I paid a couple of my uh, employees. Uh, let's suppose I, uh, and then I had maybe a $50 um, expense for the business. I went to Walmart and bought some supply. So we're going to record that. <clears throat> So how do you do that? So you can have a couple of ways to do it. The way I like it is just expense it, just create an expense uh, transaction. So let's suppose I, <clears throat> I paid, let's see, uh, let's see, David, uh, that's my hairdresser name, so David, or um, uh, my uh, employee name, uh, name David. <clears throat> and we're gonna expense that as uh, we're we're not we're paying we're paying David not as an employee. So let's suppose he's a, a contractor, subcontractor. So let's see if we have that. Okay, there it is. I have a contractor here and I pay him a hundred dollars see automatically this is saying that I'm taking money out of my checking but that's not true I never deposit the money and I gave him cash so we're gonna go ahead and record here as petty cash okay I'm gonna have a uh, save and close and then I have another um, employee that I'm gonna pay so I'm gonna record another expense this time I am paying Will and I'm going to pay Will $100 as well. Same contractor. So contractor, he's not an employee, so I'm not paying. Uh, he just comes, you know, comes every once in a while and, um, and help me with the business. But he, he's not an employee, so he just helps me with a few things in the business. And I pay him as a W-9 employee. So here it is, contractor, $100. And, of course, I'm taking money out of the petty cash. Go ahead and save and close. Then I go to Walmart. Let's go ahead and record that. So keep in mind, um, you have to do the Walmart because I'm paying cash. I got to do it out of the petty cash as well. So let's put Walmart. Okay, save here, and let's suppose I got some uh, job supplies, and that cost $50, and out of patty cash, right? So go ahead and save and close. Um, now, my balancing patty cash is $250, okay? So the next day, I receive another hundred dollars at the end of the day, so I'm gonna record another sales sale receipt. Oh, I'm sorry. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna record another yeah sales receipt. Sorry. And daily cash sale and sales here, and I said a hundred dollars. So let's go ahead and put a hundred dollars. Okay, save and oh. Where are we putting the money? Patty Cash. I always take a look here. If for some, some, you know, whatever reason, when it was selected as checking, it's going to go to my checking account, and I won't be able to balance the money at the end um, or balance the checking account at the end of the, the month. So, Patty Cash, save and close. Here is all the transactions. Now I have $350, and I decided to go to the bank and deposit $200 out of this money. So how do I do that? So I can have different ways to do that. Now keep in mind, the sales is already recorded. So what I need to do is just uh, record that I transfer money from one account to another. So different ways to do that. I can go ahead and just record a transfer here. Okay, we're going to take money out of the patty cash. We're going to add to checking. And I said, we're going to do $200. And make sure the date is the right date in here. Very important with QuickBooks is to record the correct date. Uh, keep in mind, if you're recording a sales on the 7th of October, but you're actually depositing the money maybe on the 10th, 
it's not going to match. So you want to make sure that whenever you record something, you want to record at the exact date that the money hit the account. So here we go. So yeah, it was October 8th. That's when I went to the bank, put the money in there. I'm going to save and close. Okay, and voila, now I have $150, and that's how I manage. At the end of the month, I can go ahead and go over all my, um, all my transactions and reconcile this account to make sure that everything is accounted for. Let's suppose that at the end of the month, you forgot to record a few things and you realize that you only had $100, right? So you want to record that $50, maybe, maybe you went to the restaurant or maybe you made some personal uh, expenses, spend that $50 cash. You want to record that so that you, you know exactly how much money you, you have in petty cash. You know, once again, you can record an expense, but now... Let's suppose that you bought something for yourself, so it's not a business expense, right? So you want to record to the right account. So uh, let's suppose I can put my own, uh, let's say, owners, <clears throat> owners, um, owner or just owner. Okay, I can put my name, Claudia. All right, but we'll just call it owner here. You can call it owner or it put put your own name here and I'm gonna record something into equity because this is not an expense to be deducted on my P&L this is uh, money that I'm taking out of the account for myself and I don't want to record that as an expense so I'm gonna use owner pays an equity expense and by choosing an equity account I'm not gonna impact my P&L I'm just, I'm just going to show that I that transaction that I took money out of the business. So let's see, $50 and uh, save and close. And it was out of petty cash. Petty cash was selected. Go back here and I have $100 and that's exactly how much I have in my, my piggy bank. <laughs> per se, whatever you keep your money. But um this is very important to keep good records. Uh, keep in mind that anytime you miss adding expenses or income, uh, then you know your books are not correct. So you want to make sure that you uh, account for everything, all the cash transactions, income and expense, to secure that not only your books are correct, but you're having all your deductions correctly at the end of the year, and you don't have any extra tax liability. Once again, thank you for for watching this video. We are going to post those videos quite often and I would love to have you come and check and write down a few notes on what subject would you like us to discuss next time. Until then, I'll see you later.